What's up people, it's Sam here and yes, another 100 Evolving Skies opening, getting straight into it. We've got 100 packs to open. We have got alternate arts to pull, fingers crossed, um, and hopefully a Moonbrim as well. We've got a Drake Assault VMAX straight off the bat. Unfortunately, a Drake Assault that we didn't want. But yeah guys, if you guys have been keeping up with me on this channel, you will know this is, is it my third or my fourth? I can't remember. It's my third, I think it's my third. It's my third uh, big Evolving Skies opening. And when I say big, I mean 100 packs. So um, posted on the channels, I have 200 packs that I've opened and I've only pulled one all art, which was the Umbreon V. So not even the VMAX, the Umbreon V. And yeah, it hasn't been great. It has not been great for uh, my look in terms of Evolving Skies. So this set has kicked off um, because of the Eevees, obviously, because of the gazillion alternate arts in them. And yeah, everybody everybody wants to pull it. Everybody wants to pull all of the old arts because the set is so awesome. You know, it's increased in value. I've been hoarding my Evolving Skies packs because, well, that's what I do. I just hoard packs and then I open them at a later date. Um, and I'm still chasing the Moonbryon, first of all, which is it's the main one. And not just the Moonbryon, I'm chasing also um, all the other alt arts as well. So just to give you guys a bit of an update if you're new to the channel, I have pulled three or two, two alternate arts. So I've pulled two alternate arts so far, which is the Umbreon V and the Duralodon V, which is with Raihan, I believe. And I have opened around 400 packs in total. Now that's a lot of packs, guys. And that's some rough pull rates. Now, on the channel, I've opened 200 packs. And from those 200 packs, I got one alternate art. So that kind of just shows you the scope of how difficult it has been for me to get an alternate art. Now, I've been really trying super hard to complete my alternate art collection, especially from Evolved in Skies. The other sets have been okay because there are less alternate arts to pull. But in terms of Evolving Skies, it has really, really, really not been playing ball with me. To the point where I am opening these, and in my head, I'm like, I'm probably not going to get an alternate art. I'm probably not going to get an alternate art. I'll get hits because obviously I'm opening a lot of packs, um, a lot of duplicates, but it won't be an alternate art because this is how badly this set has been treating me. Now, let me know in the comments what you guys have been pulling. Hopefully you guys have been getting much better luck than me. Congratulations if you have. But yeah, I'm doing another 100 pack opening and I'm hoping I can get um, an alternate art. So we've got a Medicham V there. So, so far, what is it? So these are in stacks of 20. So I've got three packs left. So from 17 packs already, I've got three hits, two V maxes and a V. So that kind of shows you the scope of what I'm working with here. So yeah, and I'm, I, I'm convinced that they don't even exist. I mean, there was that whole issue with the factory that happened lately where an employee from the Pokemon factory basically just took all of the alt art, mainly the Moonbrium from a lot of the packs um, and replaced them. Now there are uh, questions whether Pokemon got rid of those packs or not. Oh, okay. 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 Now we're talking we have pulled an alternate art Dragonite V, which is such a cool card actually. Um, it is a really cool alt art. Um, it's actually not the worst alt art to pull from this set. It's actually quite a nice alt art. And most importantly, it's a new addition to my collection. So I will definitely take that. So we've pulled this alt art really early. 
and we've still got like what 80 packs left to go so that all that came from 20 packs so this could be do you know no i don't want to get my hopes up that might be the only all art i get from the whole opening but anyway what i was talking about was yeah so there was a lot of questions being asked whether pokemon um got rid of those packs or they circulated them now it's pokemon they would have got you know they would have got rid of them they're not going to have it but there are a lot of questions in the community whether they have circulated them or not so for you guys who didn't know about that there's a bit of uh, news for you go check it out on google or something if you want a more in-depth review of the story for me i just heard about it I didn't really go crazy in depth about it um didn't really bother me that much to be honest it's uh, it's not going to help me get an all that anyway but yeah i know a lot of people are really into that stuff in the news and that and read it so yeah go check it out let me let me know what your thoughts are on that um more importantly we have pulled alternate art a dragonite v we'll take it it's a cool one as well i do like that um card such a cool card Okay, so, and I forgot that when I open these packs, it is strenuous on the arms. Man, do my arms get tired when I'm opening these. Okay, a Garbodor V. Um, not one that we wanted. I've got a lot of these Garbodor Vs now. Okay, so, from about 30 packs, we've got five hits so far one of them being an alt art so that's 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 pretty good so far but it just kind of shows you the actual mountain of the task that i have which is pretty difficult getting a hit already now these evolving skies packs have been gathered from various products so yeah i'm not just opening a booster box i don't actually have that many booster boxes left of evolving skies um but these packs have literally been sourced from various products that I've just been hoarding. So um, there's some blister packs that I had left, um, singles and triples, uh, some Pokeballs that included Evolving Skies, uh, some collection boxes that included Evolving Skies. And then, yeah, when I get to about um, roughly about 100, I start to think, hmm, should I do a video or should I just leave it? And then I start questioning myself thinking, you've already done 200 packs on a video and you really haven't pulled much. Is it really worth doing a video? Um, because I just think my luck really isn't going to be there. But obviously, being the Pokemon addict that I am, I can't help it. Um, and here I am, opening packs. Okay, so these are in stacks of 20, so that means there's 60 packs left. So, so far from 40 packs, I've pulled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Okay, 6 Vs slash V maxes and 1 all out. So that's 7 hits from 40 packs. That is. That is rough. That is so rough. Uh, on average, uh, 100 packs should roughly get you around. Uh, 25 to 30 hits roughly in total um regardless of the rarity of the cards that doesn't include hollows obviously my hits are basically mean v cards minimum so v v max all art gold etc 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 that's what i mean by hits um and that's what i'm working with so if that is still going to stay true those numbers those odds then i should Still be expecting around 20 hits roughly um, still to come and hopefully from those 20 hits one of them or all 20 of them will be very very kind to me because I've still got quite a few of um, the Evolving Sky set to collect. I've got like majority of the V's and V-Maxes all that really remains now is the secret rares alternate arts the golds i think i pulled gold and Teleon twice um i've got all the evolutions in terms of their v and v max forms although that was still quite a mission oh, actually full arts i need 
I need quite a lot of full art. I haven't got all of the full arts as well, so I need the full arts. And as you can see, I'm not doing a card trick because I'll, I'll be here all day. Um, there's really not a lot of hits in these packs to actually warrant doing a card trick. So yeah, no card trick. But I would say we're halfway through now, so two and a half stacks. So that's, oh, what we got here? Zinnia's Resolve Full Art, okay. I need this one. I need a Zinnia's Resolve Full Art, I'll take that. I thought it was going to be something a bit more better, like maybe Zinnia and Rayquaz at all today. That would be cool, but I'll take Zinnia's Resolve as a Full Art. I don't think I have this one. So we've got Vs, V Maxes, one full art and one alternate art so far. Um, and that's from pretty much 50 bucks. So yeah, guys, it's it's rough. It's it's super rough right now. The set itself is really rough. I mean for me at least anyway. I don't know about you guys. Definitely let me know in the comments what sort of stuff you guys have been pulling. I know there's some people that don't really open many packs and you know get really lucky with it and that's awesome let me know what sort of alternate arts you guys have been pulling um, what alternate arts you still need um, and how your general journey in the evolving skies world has been so far and do you know what not even in the evolving skies world just in the pokemon world in general let me know let me know what sort of um cards you're pulling let me know what your favorite card is from evolving skies talk to me Straight down in those comments talk to me let me know i would be very interested to know what sort of um pulls you guys have been getting hopefully your pulls have been way better than mine because mine have been dreadful um and then let me know what sort of stuff you guys are chasing at the moment not just in general um sorry not just from above Skies, guys but just in general like um i don't know what your favorite set is what you're looking forward to in terms of products for me, Scarlet and Violet is pretty cool. I like the fact that they've gone back. Ooh, okay, we've got another Garbodor Vida. I like the fact that they've gone back to the silver borders on Scarlet and Violet. That's really cool. I really do like that. That's a big plus. 41 packs left after, well, 40 packs left after I open this one, which gives me an Arctivish V. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest guys, there haven't been many hits so far and I'm 60 packs in so I'm a little worried about opening the rest of these packs because 60 packs and I've got what, maybe 10 hits? That's, that's, that is, that is rough. That is rough. But do you know what, of all these guys there's one set to open, purely because there's a lot of chase. I think, it, I think every set is fun to open as long as it's got good cards um the chase we've got espion v there um but when you're opening a set and all of the cards you really don't want like there's not even one that doesn't appeal to you then it doesn't become fun anymore but to be fair every set has been awesome there's all there's, there's always been like oh okay gabadol v max secret rare i think i need that one i think last time i got trevenant so this is a new addition to the collection. So, so far I've pulled three cards that I need. So, Secret Rainbow Rare, which is a guard, but door, Alt Art, Dragonite, and a Zinnia's Resolve Full Art. And you know what, I haven't even been, when I'm opening these packs, I've been, I've been like racing through them. And I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe I might have missed some hits by going through them too quick, but I doubt it because like shiny detection, detection eyes so if i see something shiny i'm like oh there's something there but no it, it really is just a selection of um cool packs it seems uh, and i am on track to get less hits than i have done in my previous 100 pack opening so that's not great because i said at the start of a video that we should get about 20 25 but that is clearly wrong because I think I've got about 15 hits right now and that's like an all-time low for me um, okay I saw something shiny I saw something sh okay that is not great at all is it so I didn't need this card and now I definitely 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 don't need this card because I've just pulled two of them so two full arts 
in the same opening. Okay. That's uh, actually a lie. I was about to say that's never happened before, but I think it was in one of my videos I pulled back to back. I want to make that clear back to back, guys. So one pack after the other, I pulled two gold Intellions. So yeah, I guess I'm not really surprised there. That one was backwards. Or oh, is this because these, these packs must be from uh, different products, so that's why the code card's backwards on there, I think. Yeah, code card's backwards on there, so they must be from, because they're not like really straight, I assume that these are from the Pokeballs. Um, oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, but this was from a Pokeball, I thought, and... It wasn't backwards. And look at the centering on that. that is crazy, but you know, I need it. I need it for my collection. I don't have a gold egg for that. So I will take that. Still only one alternate art. So I don't think I'm going to get another alternate art. But um, I've pulled three cards that I knew. Okay, oh, Lycan Rock. Okay, I'll take that as well. I'll take that as well. The hits are coming now. Full art. I need this. I need this Lycan Rock. I said at the start of a video I need full arts and I don't have these full arts that I've pulled so I'll take it. It's a bit annoying because I pulled Zinnia's result which is a double. Um, it would have been nice if that was like a different full art but it looks like it's full art galore in this opening which is very different. I don't really get many full arts in the um, Evolving Skies openings that I've been doing. So yeah it's, it's, it's nice to be getting full arts as opposed to um, just a heap loads of V's or V maxes, especially when I need them as well. So it's going to look really great on my binder because um, I need these. There's empty spaces in my binder. I need these. Okay, so we're going to, we're coming to the last 20 mark very shortly. And do you know what, in terms of code cards guys, I don't know if like whoever gets to the video first takes all the code cards or not i like to think that they all get shared out but i don't think they do i guess i could only apologize for that but i don't really know which better way to do it i mean i could start like maybe not showing code cards and giving away at random parts of the video but i don't know i just i just think um okay glossy glacium v max i just think that like my um regular views of the channels have been um checking out my videos for ages might be a bit unfair on them. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's quite hard to balance, so I don't really think about it as much. Um, I just open my packs and whoever gets the code cards, get the code cards. I like, I'd like to think it is um, a bunch of people and the code cards are shared out equally, but I highly doubt that. I mean, it is the internet. Okay, so we've got roughly 20 packs left. Uh, the last pack, uh, maybe 17. I'd say. Okay, Umbreon VMAX again. You can always tell when it's a VMAX, can't you? You can always tell when it's a VMAX when that card pops out. Although I've pulled quite a few of the uh, Umbreon VMAXs from here now. Um, I'm pretty sure the Umbreon VMAX is highly playable in the um, actual game as well. So I think that card's quite sought after. I've got quite a few of them now, actually. Do you know what? The evolution I haven't got many of is the um Is it Espeon? Is it Espeon V Max? Oh is it Sylveon? I can't remember, it's one of them. But yeah, that one I was, I was looking through my um spares of Evolving Skies cards that I've got and that was the evolution that really um I didn't have many of. But I had a lot of like Vaporeons, Flareons, Umbreons. Um but yeah for some reason that one wasn't very wasn't really a, a big hit. Anyway, so getting to the last part of this, speeding my way through Umbreon V again. Another Umbreon V. Plenty of EVs. But do you know what? To be fair though, I am getting a lot of actual evolution cards. Like when I open my packs, I do get a lot of evolutions. It's not necessarily like the card rarity I want but it's quite nice that you're open evolving skies and you know evolutions are a big part of this setting you know you do get quite a few of them however I'm not really sure how good the hit rates are going to be we'll check out the hit rates at the end I'll check out the hit rates at the end and just see how many 
how many pulls I've got from 100. Um, like I said at the start of the video, it should be about 25 to 30. Um, but it felt like it was, I wasn't getting that many, especially from the first half, but the second half, the hits have increased in terms of um, how many I'm finding per pack. And as I said, these packs were sourced randomly, so, you know, they weren't per product, so I can't really give any insight in terms of, yes, buy a booster box or not, because they were all sourced randomly. Okay, so, I'm hoping that we can get something juicy in the dying moments of this opening but i'm losing a lot of faith i mean we've pulled one alternate art so that is a dub it's just crazy that you have to open like a hundred packs just to get an alternate art there's a glaceon i don't think we've seen that one today have we the glaceon v that's the first glaceon today but yeah at the moment my rate is one alternate art in well, the last alternate art, which was the Umbreon V, was 1 in 200. This one is 1 in 100, so it's kind of, who knows, maybe in the next opening, um, the rate might be increased, fingers crossed. Anyway, last pack, can we get anything? I'm going to say no, let me know in the comments if you think I'm going to get anything. Umbreon VMAX again. There's a cool card, guys. So, it was an Umbreon VMAX. Okay, so let's quickly go through our hits. Let's see how many we pulled. We've got quite a few here. Okay, let's do the count first. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 hits. So yeah, I'll, I said 25 to 27, but I did get quite a few full arts. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's just quickly go through the hits from 100 packs, 21. So that's literally not great. Like 1 in 5? 1 in 5. It's it's, it's not the best, but it's not the worst as well. Uh, okay, Umbreon VMAX, Glacian V, Umbreon V, another VMAX, Glacian VMAX, Espeon V, Activish V, Garbodor V, Duraludon V, Gyarados V, Garbodor V again, Umbreon VMAX again. So I think I pulled three of these, crazy. Medicham V, Sylveon VMAX, Dracozolt VMAX, and we've got the Full Arts, we've got the Lycanroc V, Golurk V, Full Art, Zinni's Resolve times two, I think, yeah. A Gardabor, a Gardabor secret rare and then the alternate art was the dragonite v which you know it's, it looks like a pretty clean card and i can't wait to get this sent for grading and add it to my collection um so yeah there it is guys a hundred evolving skies packs i probably will do another one in the future because why not i still need a lot of these cards um but hopefully you did enjoy the video guys if you did leave a like on the video please feel free to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on my future videos guys and as always i will see you in the next video peace out